Do whatever you do best. I mean, do whatever you're doing the best you can, knowing there's the bigger horizon. Anything you put your name on needs to be good, needs to be the best of what you can do with that time and energy. The only thing that you're responsible for is your best. Like, you can't do better than your best. Rise and shine, it's Espresso time. What's up, Believe Nation? It's Evan, I believe in you, and this channel is designed to be a part of your daily success routine. So let's start your day off right together. Grab your coffee and sip on today's message. Always do your best. Over to you, Dean Graziosi. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I wake up every morning. I literally flew to Arizona to, to meet a media buyer, and I said, I have no idea what I'm doing, and I just kept pushing. And, wow. and one of those things that I think during the evolution of growing from wherever you are to where you want to go is do whatever you do best. I mean, do whatever you're doing the best you can, knowing there's the bigger horizon. So I literally was working during the day on cars. I was a, I'd paint cars. I was doing really? collision repair. At night, I'd go work on my apartments, and I was a plumber and, and, wow. and, and, and hung sheetrock, and I'd work till midnight on houses, and I was tired. But I had a dream. I knew I wanted to help people do better. So it made what I was doing okay because I knew there was more. Mm -hmm. So the big problem I see is people want more and they hate what they're doing. So that it, they're, they're, in a, they're in a state of mind where, God, I just when I'm done with this crap, then someday I'll reach my dreams. And if you can flop that to go, no, this is the gateway to my dreams. I don't care that I'm serving coffee or I'm painting cars or I'm a teacher right now mm -hmm. or I'm on my sister's couch. Like This is what I have to do and I have to do it the best. Become a master at just this. Just become a master at yeah. that. because And that's the income and the security and the mindset yes. that fuels the next level. It's not, this is miserable, I hate it, I feel the next level and now I'm amazing. It's like, you need to, to master that. Yeah, the process. Yeah. Here's something I want you to try on. Tell yourself this, whatever I do, wherever I go, the people I come in contact with and the projects I work on will be better because I was there. Again, whatever I do, wherever I go, the people I come into contact with and the projects I work on will be better because I was there. Here's the thing that holds a lot of wannabe entrepreneurs especially back. You don't like your life, you don't like your job, you don't like your circumstances, you wanna break through, and you're not spending enough time on your business and where you wanna go, but you're bringing so much negative energy to the work that you're currently doing. You're looking at the tasks you're doing, it's like, oh, I have to go and do this. You're putting out so much negative energy, there's no way somebody's gonna recognize your talent and give you an opportunity. It's crazy how many opportunities will come to you when you just bring the best of yourself into every situation that you're going to. So let me tell you the story about Ivan. Ivan is a guy behind my YouTube channel. He's doing all the research for these videos, putting together all the clips, bringing them to me, brainstorming new topics for the channel. A lot of the love and effort and hard work that goes behind these videos is thanks to Ivan. When I first hired Ivan, I wasn't looking for a researcher. I was looking for someone to do the comments on my channel. My channel was just exploding. I had lots of people now commenting on my channel. It was getting beyond the point where I could personally respond to everybody. And if I did that, then I spent no time actually building my channel. And so I needed some help. And so I hired Ivan, I found him online, and he started doing a great job. Now comments wasn't what he ultimately wanted to be doing. He started off going to law school and didn't want to go off and be a lawyer. And he loved the mission that I was on and said, yes, I'll join you and be involved in managing your community. But it wasn't ultimately what he wanted to do. That being said, Ivan poured his heart and soul and energy and love into providing an amazing experience for everybody who was coming out. Even though it wasn't ultimately where he wanted to go, he was still putting in crazy amounts of love and effort to making it the best possible experience because if Ivan was a part of it, he wanted it to be good. Anything you put your name on needs to be good, it needs to be the best of what you can do with that time and energy. If you walk around constantly saying, I'm better than this, I, I should be doing more, and then you mail in your job, I think you're actually teaching yourself negative self-respect. I don't think you ever get to the place where you wanna be. It doesn't mean that you stay in a job that you hate forever. I think it's great to have standards. I think it's great to have a mission. It's great to have a vision. It's great to want something better for yourself. But if all you're bringing is negative energy to your workplace every day, you're gonna lose. You're never gonna get to that next spot. So Ivan was doing the comments. He didn't ultimately wanna do that, but he was doing a great job doing it. 
And so now me, look at me, I'm, I'm, I'm his boss. I'm trying to figure out, I want my team to win. I have this need right now for the comments, but I love what Ivan's doing. I love Ivan's vibe. I love Ivan's personality. I love how dedicated Ivan is to doing something that he is okay with doing, but he knows it's something more that he wants. I'm now fighting for Ivan, right? I'm fighting for Ivan to find something else for him to do because that's not his ultimate role. Now, if Ivan was just mailing it in, not doing a great job, being late, you know, not being disrespectful to you guys in the comments, but just doing an okay job because he didn't like it as much, am I gonna fight for Ivan to do something better? Heck no. But because he was pouring so much love and energy, I, it made me guilty, it made me really love to try to help Ivan. And so we transitioned him out of that role into the role of what he's doing right now, which is finding all the research for all the videos. And he loves that role so much better. But if Ivan didn't bring the best of himself to the role that he was hired for, he wouldn't be here. And be off still doing something else, probably let go of the job that I hired him for and just continue to be upset and angry and blaming other people. That's the trap that most people fall into. You're bringing so much negative energy to the work that you're doing that nobody will recognize your talent. And then you go home and you complain about the world and how broken it is and how unfair it is. You need to bring more positive energy to the work that you're doing constantly. And people will see that and then want to work with you. And it often happens in really strange and weird, wonderful ways. I look at relationships as an example. One of the best ways to get into a relationship is to do hobbies and activities that you love doing. At my school, Toronto Dance Salsa, so many people have found relationships. Why? Because you're doing something that you are interested in doing. Right? You're coming to learn how to dance because it's an interest of yours to come and learn how to dance. And while you're doing that, you're having fun and you're smiling and you're excited and you're putting out a great positive energy. And hey, there's somebody who you partner up with who also had that same positive vibe and energy and is outgoing. And we get people who are coming from their work, who hate their life, who hate their job, and we make them have a positive energy and duh, now all of a sudden they're creating relationships with other people. When you're doing things that you're bringing a positive energy to, you don't have to wait for some outside force to make that happen for you, like we might do at Toronto Dance Salsa. You can do it for yourself. And the way to do it is to have self-respect and pride into everything that you touch. Everything that you touch needs to be to the best of your abilities, to the best of your capabilities. Because you know that you touched it, it's gonna do well. Even if you don't like that thing. And in the longer term and in your bigger roadmap, you can have a plan for yourself of where you wanna get to, and the path to getting there is doing these things really, really, really well. While you're doing this crazy thing amazingly well, people will see that and say, who is this person? I wanna hire that person. I wanna work with that person. I wanna learn more about what they're doing. That's how you get to the next step. I go even so crazy. I don't say this too often because it comes across as very egotistical, but I'm in Toronto. I live in Toronto. I want Toronto to be the greatest city in the world because I'm there. I'm at Young and Shepherd, is the intersection where Toronto Dance Salsa is, where I live. I want Young and Shepherd to be the greatest intersection in Toronto because I'm there. I want the people that I touch, I want the projects that I work on to all be better because I had a hand in it, because I'm there. I'm in Columbus now, I want Columbus. I'm on my tour, I want Columbus to be better because I'm here. I wanna leave a mark, I wanna have an impact, whatever that is. Even when I leave this Airbnb, I will make the bed. I will clean up the Airbnb. I want this place to be better because I was here. From a place of service. If you constantly leave the projects and the people that you're working with from a place of service that I want this to be better because I was here, so many opportunities will come and find you because most people put out a negative energy. And what do you wanna do around negative people? You wanna avoid them. But if you're the one rare person who's bringing positivity to everything that you're doing, people will want to scoop you up. People will find ways to work with you. People will fight to bring you in, to pay you more, to be your business partner, to invest in you. You just have to learn to put out more positive energy and take pride in every single piece of work that you're doing because you spent time on it, period. Now I've got a really special bonus clip that I think you're gonna enjoy, but before that, question of the day, I wanna know where do you need to bring more positive energy in your life or business? Leave your answer in the comments below. You just gotta understand, the only thing that you're responsible for is your best. 
Like you can't do better than your best. You just do your best. And if you try to obsess too much, you're not doing your best, you're gonna be paralyzed, right? So you have to get as much information as you can, make the most educated choice, make sure that you're not choosing based on ego or emotion or you know, greed or these other forces that delude you and prevent you from thinking clearly. But if you do your best and you fail, like what are you gonna do, beat yourself up for that? Like that doesn't make any sense. If you're doing your best, if you're really laying it out there, there's nothing, nothing more you can do. And, and that's, I think, the, that's really the key, is just to constantly rest and rely on that fact that I'm just, I'm doing my best. And there's nothing, nothing more than that. So I was going in for my big interview with Justice O'Connor, and I was very nervous. And fortunately, I happened to have a friend who had gotten there the year before and was clerking for the Chief Justice. And so he had lunch with me before to sort of, you know... Um, be a friendly face. And so I said to him, I was like, the thing is, Jim, do you ever worry whether you're good enough to do the job? Like, I worry, like, can I really handle it? And he looked at me and he said, Gretchen, she's a justice on the Supreme Court. She's hired dozens of clerks. It's her problem to figure out if you are good enough to do the job. You have to focus on trying to get the job. And I found that enormously comforting. And now often when I'm thinking like, oh, I don't know, am I good enough? Am I going to be able to pull this off? Um, I think to myself, you know what? It's for other people to decide whether I'm good enough. It's my job to worry about whether I'm just doing my best. And if you want more Dean Graziosi, check out the top 10 rules video made on him. The link is right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. And I want to tell you passion and from the heart, always, always, wins over over-prepared and thinking from the head.